it, everybody? It's your boy, Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm back with another fragrance review. Yeah, man, I'm back with another fragrance review. Currently, at the shooting of this video, we're sitting at 464 subscribers. Yeah, man, on the road to 500. So I need y'all to do your boy a favor, man. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to comment. And I need you to subscribe. Yeah, man. I need you to do that for your boy. So when we get to 500, we're going to worry about 600. All right. Ain't going to take up too much of y'all time. We're going to get straight to it. And this is Rack Store Builders, man. Eight Rack Store Builders. I got eight of them for you. Uh, to help, if you just starting off on your fragrance journey, if you just, um, you know, getting into the fragrance game and you want to build your collection, one of the best ways is through the rack stores because you will help grow your nose palette. You will see, you will start to see which um, fragrance that you buy um, that has certain notes in it that um, that you like, and you'll start to build a palette and a pattern, and you can see what you like, what you don't like. And also, too, you might buy something that you don't like, but hold on to it because you will let that thing macerate and your palette will grow and you'll come back to it a couple months down the line and you might find out that you actually like this fragrance. And all while saving some cheese, you know what I'm talking about? $20, $30, $40, go a long way. All right, you know how we do on my channel. Sip a little something. Y'all gonna see this Sunday. But I'm actually recording this Friday at 1 o'clock. <laughs> and it's none other than 20 grand gold, man. 20 grand gold. It's been a long week, man. They let your boy out work early because uh, the air broke. It's like 92 degrees at my job, man. So they let us out early. So I figured I'd go and shoot some content. All right, y'all. Cheers, man. We're going to hop right into this thing. All right. First up. None other than Kenneth Cole Vintage Black. Kenneth Cole Vintage Black. These are animals, real aromatic, man. Real aromatic, spicy, citrus, green, man. Woodsy notes on it as well. Top notes are white pepper, grapefruit, and green notes and lime. And the lime and the grapefruit kind of mixes together in this to give you this soft type bergamot type feel and the white pepper. It's not a real heavy pepper, but just enough to give a little twinge and a little twang to the top notes. Heart notes, sandalwood, lavender, and tequila, which is a nice note, man. That tequila is a nice note. It kind of gives it a little pop, a little pizzazz, a little razzle-dazzle, if you will. Nice, nice um, take on tequila in this, man. And base notes, cedarwood, oak, and musk. Um, under 30 bucks, man. Get your hands on this at your Burlington's and your Marshall's, man. And this is a nice fragrance, man. Kenneth Cole Vintage Black. All right. Next fragrance. This is, it is a, it is a, it's a gem, man. It's truly a gem. And it's none, uh, none other than Masoni Parfum Parfum. Masoni Parfum Parfum. And I like this fragrance, man. Great animalizer. Fire hydrant. Magnetic cap, nice fragrance, man. Nice fragrance, nice fragrance. Fresh, citrus, woody, spicy with a little green in it. You got spiked lavender, lime, lime leaf, and pink grapefruit, man. The opening on this thing is real citrus, but it's nice with the spiked lavender to kind of round off the citrus that you're getting from the lime, the pink grapefruit, and the um the lime leaf. And you can and this is a different grapefruit. This is a more sweeter uh take on the grapefruit. Heart notes are mandarin herbs, uh, jasmine and ginger. Base notes, sandalwood, musk, oak wood, birch, and patchouli. And the birch in this is, mm, I love it. It gives it a real watery, a vibrant type um, feel, man. Almost kind of like the birch that's in um, Creed Aventus. Um, real watery, real nice, gives it some pop, man. Masoni um, Paul Ohm, man. Masoni Paul Ohm. All right. Next one. I love this house a lot, man. Especially the L1212 line. But we're not talking about the L1212 line today. We're talking about Lacoste Pour On. Lacoste Pour On. Lacoste Pour On, man. Great fragrance, man. Decent animizer. This is real airy. Um, 
kind of powdery, aromatic. You're gonna get some um, some sweet, some woods, and some fruity. A little bit of spiciness in this as well from the rum. Um, but the top notes are uh, plum. I like the plum in this because it's, it's sweet and it's juicy, but it's kind of um, mingled with the apple and the grapefruit and the bergamot, which kind of stops it from being so sweet, but it also adds to uh, the pleasantry or the pleasantness of this fragrance, man. Middle notes are cinnamon, pink pepper, cardamom, and Jupiter. Base notes are vanilla, rum, musk, sandalwood, cedar, and lavender. Man, this is a nice, manly fragrance, man, but just sweet enough to be a crowd pleaser. This is a nice fragrance, man. I'm talking about 25, under 30 bucks, man. Lacoste, pour on, man. Lacoste, pour on, grab it. All right. On to the fourth fragrance. It's none other than from the House of Banana Republic. And when you buy these, please buy from the rack stores. Don't go to Banana Republic, the outlet store, because you're going to pay way more than you should. Man, I got this for like 25 bucks, man. It's none other than linen vetable. And this is a nighttime uh, type uh, date night. <sighs> Summer fragrance. Nice, nice. Citrus aromatic, a little earthy, a little woodsy. Fresh spicy with some greens and flour in it. Powdery too as well. And the white flour in it as well kind of uh, opens it up a little bit, man. This is a dope, dope fragrance, man. Top notes, bergamot, uh, pedigree, uh, cardamom. Middle notes are iris, um, hotchinith. I don't know how to say that word. Water jasmine. Base notes are vetiver, musk, oak moss, and crystal amber. This is a smooth, nice fragrance on the dry down too. Kind of gives you the little... Uh, vanilla-y aspect uh, with a little bit of oak and musk in it. Still kind of manly though. This is a um, this is a nice manly fragrance, man. This is a dope fragrance, especially if you're going out on date night. Anything that you're gonna be doing um, midday to, I mean, you can wear it during the day. But when I when I smell this, I think about movies at night. You know, uh, restaurants. You know, with your boo, uh, something like that, man. Some um, you know one on one type jump. You know, um, where it's kind of cooler than um, than it is in the daytime, and that is Banana Republic Linen Vetiver. This is think you when you think about you can wear it in the daytime because a lot of time if you got on like a linen suit, anything like that, man. You know, you, you think about the breeze and the, the airiness of it, man. If, if if the wind or the breeze catch this, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, great fragrance, man, great fragrance. All right. Next fragrance, man, is a uh, is a, a frag cum goat, man. You don't need no introduction. Um, spoken highly of the uh, late great Kevin Samuels, and it's none other than Mont Blanc Individual. I try not to wear this so much because it's hard to find sometimes. But this is an amazing fragrance: raspberry, sweet, fruity, aromatic. Got a little spiciness to it. Fresh, spicy, little cinnamon in it. This is a dope. Fragrance, man. I'm telling you, it's a must grab, man. If you're trying to build your collection, this acts around the frat come, man. I don't care if you're spending three, four, five hundred dollars on fragrances. They got this somewhere in their collection. And I bet you that juice is depleting because they they wear this thing, man. Uh, top notes: lavender, lavender, cinnamon, pineapple juice, juniper berries, mint, bergamot, rosemary, cardamom, and coriander. Man, the top notes on this fragrance is heavy, but the opening of this fragrance is. Uh, I'm telling you, these one of these fragrances where you want to revisit the opening notes. Middle notes are orange blossom, violet, geranium, jasmine. Base notes are raspberry, vanilla, sandalwood, dark chocolate, musk, amber, patchouli, vetiver, and oak moss. This fragrance is a boom, is a shoddy to the test. I'm telling you, this fragrance is jam packed. When well, you've seen the note breakdowns, this fragrance is a must get your hands on for under 30 bucks. You gotta grab this, man. This will surely help you build your collection. This will surely help you grow your palette, help you pick out different notes that you like in the fragrance, man. There's none other than the Mont Blanc Individual. All right, last three fragrances. Next fragrance we have is none other than the Hollister Wave 2. Hollister Wave 2. Fresh, spicy, aromatic, little herbaceous, ozonic, real poppy, real airy. Uh, lavender, musk, citrus, powdery. This is a dope fragrance, man. I think my wife got this for me from Ross, man, for probably about 20 bucks. Nice fragrance, man, especially to wear during the daytime, during the high heat. 
uh, top notes are ozonic notes, bergamot, white pepper, middle notes are geranium, lavender, sage, base notes are musk, woodsy notes, and sandalwood. And this just smells like uh, bottom beach, um, lake party, uh, high heat, uh, you know, water gun fight, water park, uh, you know, nice citrus. This is dope, man. This is dope. Uh, with the sage in it and the lavender and the floral notes from the geranium, this kind of rounds off the citrus. And uh, like I say, the ozonic notes is... It's real airy, man. This is a real aromatic fragrance. Nice fragrance, man, for under uh, 25 to 25 to 20 bucks, man. Hollister Wave, um, wanted, grab you one of these. They got Hollister, this Hollister Wave 2, matter of fact. This Hollister Wave 2. I got, let me see. My bad. I got Hollister Wave 1. Um, it's back there somewhere. Um, I thought I could reach and grab it, but I can't. All right, for the sake of time, we're gonna keep moving on. All right, number eight, number seven fragrance. None other than Kenneth Cole Summer 2020. Kenneth Cole Summer 2020. And this right here is, man, it's just it's just juice in a bottle. Citrus, a little saltiness, aromatic, a uh, little warmness, ambery, soft, spicy, marine, woodsy notes in it. Top notes are mandarin, orange, and sea salt, and ginger. This opening of this is like a... a a, a juice man like a, a cocktail that's what it kind of remind me of note middle notes are sage base notes are amber and sandalwood not that many notes man you're probably gonna get three to four hours out of this but it's real pleasant real nice fruity it remind you of sipping a drink by the pool man this is a nice fragrance man can't go wrong with the kevin klein um summer um t um additions all of them are nice in their own respective ways and we're on to the last fragrance and this is a nighttime beast to me. Uh, There's none other than Perry Ellis Portfolio. Perry Ellis Portfolio, man. Nice animals on this thing, man. Uh, top notes are pear. That pear and that coriander. I sprayed it on my hand before I started shooting because I wanted to get the effects of the dry down. Man, this fragrance is dope. That pear is real nice. Almost kind of like the pear and um it's crazy because this is the one that fell and dropped on the floor i almost kind of like the parent um and um coach for men it might be uh cloning this let me see now nah, the parent is a lot sweeter but the parent this is sweet too man uh middle notes are lavender basil and cardamom base notes are amber musk and sandalwood this is a nice fragrance man can be poured off in the high heat can be pulled off in the midday and the summertime nights during the summertime. Aromatic, fruity, little powdery, sweet, a little bit of musk to it, a little bit of herbalness to it. This is a dope smelling fragrance, man. I really like this fragrance a lot, especially from the opening to the dry down. You can really see it starting to change, starting to change from the pear and starting to be a little bit more floral and a little bit more smooth, a little bit more herbal with the basil and the cardamom and then changing it to something sweet and nice and smooth and pleasant with the musk and the amber and the sandalwood and the dry down. All right, man, that's eight fragrances that will help you build your uh collection from the rack stores man i thank you all for tuning in i thank you all for your time continue to like share and subscribe and as always instant transmission